Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Bit of a change in pace for these next few reviews. You may remember that I've been giving you sort of a Return of the Jedi marathon in my past few videos. This time around we're sh shifting the focus to the Clone Wars. Now I'm not giving you a look at any figures from the Clone Wars line. Instead I'm giving you a look at characters from the Clone Wars from the Vintage Collection. As confusing as that sounds, it'll all make sense in just a minute. Before we begin, I want to give you a look at the packaging for these three figures. As I'm not going to do three figures in one review, but these will be my next few videos, so I just wanted to give you a look at what I'll be doing. We have Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and Obi Wan Kenobi. All from the Clone Wars. Now, Obi Wan is the figure that we're going to be taking a look at today. Um, very very cool packaging first and foremost you've got the Clone Wars logo on the vintage card which is just super cool and you've also got a nice realistic interpretation of Obi-Wan as he appears in the Clone Wars but in realistic form which looks cool as well on the reverse side of the card we've got the 12 back layout featuring other figures from the line we've also got some vehicles as well so enough about the card let's take a look at this figure and here he is, very, very cool. Um, probably one of the best Obi-Wan figures that Hasbro have released so far, in my opinion. Uh, everything about this guy is just really, really cool. The sculpt, the detail, awesome figure. Um, what I really like about him is the fact that Hasbro went back and used some of the parts from their brand new vintage collection clone trooper sculpt um, with some of the armor. So the legs there, even though they are new sculpts um, for this figure, they are, you know, they closely resemble the new clones, which is very, very cool. Um, I'll run through some of the details first. Superb head sculpt, first and foremost. Really does look like Ewan McGregor, who is, of course, the actor who plays Obi-Wan in the prequel trilogy. It also comes with a nice, strong blue-bladed lightsaber, as well as an unlit hilt, which can be attached to the belt. And he has the Jedi emblem on the shoulder pad there. He also has a sculpted comlink on the wrist gauntlet. And he's got several bits of weathering on the armour as well, which look really, really cool. As you can see, all this sand and dirt marks on there. And part of the lower tunic is soft goods, which allows for extra posability. And speaking of which, in terms of articulation, Obi-Wan has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, and swivel wrist. A swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, again, as articulated as you would expect. Really, really cool figure, and when you display him with the other two figures that I'm about to review, you get a really cool Clone Wars display in realistic form, and he is definitely a figure that I would recommend picking up. So, that's just about it for Obi Wan from the Clone Wars. I'll just knock the brightness down a little bit because I don't think that some of that detail is really showing up because of the sunlight, but. There we go, hope that's a little bit clearer for you. Some of that weathering on there. Some of the sculpted detail just looks really, really cool. It's an awesome figure, definitely one that I'd recommend picking up, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I will be back with, as I said, Anakin and Ahsoka in my next reviews, so stay tuned. Until then, as always, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.